All right, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video to show you what your results should look like when you're doing your blood lab today. So at each station, you're going to need to have your five samples of synthetic blood. So this is not uh, real blood, but just uh, lab created. So you should have Andrea. And you'll notice that sometimes it sort of separates out. So it's a good idea to give it a good shake before using it. Okay, really get all of that resuspended. So you should have Andrea, June, and then your three potential fathers. They're labeled sample one, sample two, and sample three. And again, make sure you're giving all of these a really good shake, okay? Then you have your testing tray here, and it's labeled for you where you're gonna do your anti-A test, your anti-B test, and your RH test. So each of these trays are labeled for you. So your serum is also labeled. Your anti-A sera is blue. And you're just gonna place one drop into the serum A well. Okay, be sure not to touch these tips to any of your other surfaces, okay? Nothing should touch this tip that would cause contamination. All right, and then we'll place a drop of our anti-B serum into our B well. Again, not touching the tip to the well. <clears throat> and then finally, our anti-D serum, which is just clear, will go into our last well. Okay. And now I'm only going to demonstrate this with Andrea. So uh, again, you can just write these uh, reactions down in your lab, and then you won't have to test Andrea, or you guys can test Andrea, either one you want. Right? So we're going to place one drop into each of these wells. One drop A, one drop B, one drop C. And again, don't touch this tip to any of the other materials. Okay? Now you'll notice that you have these really jazzy toothpicks, each one with its own color that matches the serum color. Isn't that great? So for serum A, we have uh, toothpick A, and usually it doesn't pop that much. Let me just pick this up so I get a little less pop going on. All right, and you're just gonna mix those together, and you can see how we're getting separation. We're getting little red clumps in that serum. That's a positive reaction, which means that Andrea has the A antigen, okay? This is a positive because they've mixed together. Right, then I'm gonna grab my yellow toothpick, ooh, yellow for the B serum, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna mix that B serum together, right? And I will tell you, the B is a little harder to see, but I'm gonna try to sort of drag it up and down. There are little globules, right? Hopefully you can see that, but there are little red globules that have started to precipitate out in this B as well. It's not as clear a reaction as A, um, but if you sort of tilt your uh, disc back and forth, you'll see that it's not just a nice clear liquid, okay? There are these little red dots that are forming in there, okay? So that would be a positive reaction for B, those little red dots that you see appearing in there, okay? It's not just a, a fully, um, you know, clear red liquid but we've got these little red droplets in there, okay? So that's a positive for B. So she also has the B antigen, right? Now I'm gonna do my last antigen over here, the RH, and what's really groovy about this stuff is it almost becomes like jello. So notice when I mix this up, it's all clumpy, and it's become sort of like a little melted jello, right? That's what a positive for RH looks like. Okay, so Andrea is actually positive for all three of these antigens. She has the A antigen, she has the B antigen, and again, it's kind of hard to see that on this, this video screen, uh, but there are little red globules inside this uh, larger red dot, which is a positive for B. And then for our RH, it's just become like a little melted jello. Right, and that's a positive for RH. So on your lab, you would write that Andrea uh, had a reaction for A, she had a reaction for B, and she had a reaction for this RH, okay? 
Now before you can test these others, you're gonna have to completely clean off this uh, slide. So you just want to run it um, underneath your sink for just a minute. <clears throat> okay. And then just take some paper towels, right, and give it a good wipe down. Really get all of it cleaned off. And you should be doing this between each test and at the end. So you should be leaving your station. I'll sort of clean up these little droplets that I got on the lab table here. Okay. You should be cleaning them up so that you're ready. And our lab is once again reset. We're ready for the next, either the next test or we're ready, you know, for the next group that's going to come in.